Got me a new camp stove. It's called a Thor. It's a two burner stainless steel tabletop grill. Um, you don't have to worry about it rusting. It runs off of a 20 gallon propane tank. And right here, I'm going to show you all all the parts of it. Right here, this is for a lighter. You put the um, match in there, put it right in there, it lights your grill. Or this is automatic grill light. You just turn it to your left right here, push it in like that, and it automatically lights your stove like that. But in overall, it seems to be a real nice grill. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire it up and uh, cook me a burger, see how it does. It also happens a thermostat up here. I think for barbecuing and stuff like this would be a great deal. So it's got full legs, so it's, you know, it's right here comfortable where you'll be working with it as far as flipping your burgers and all that good stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and cook a burger on it and see how she does. Okay, I'm gonna give you a preview of what this thing looks like. As you can see, it's very well bented. Got four nice sturdy legs. Got a real nice hose going to the propane right there the knobs like I said are electric start you just push it in turn it to the left it fires it right on up or if you need to if the electric goes out you can always use a stick right here and use a match um, there's a gauge on the top right there so you know what you're cooking at like I said it's a two burner stove got it fired up right now it's cooking looking good but yeah let's put a hamburger on it and see how it does so you've only had it running about maybe three or four minutes and it's almost up to 200 degrees so i'd say that's a pretty good hot stove right there i can feel the heat coming off of just filming but and the handle doesn't get hot that's what i like about it. i was kind of wondering if the handle get hot and it looks like it's got you know real nice stove y'all getting a good view of my gopro but yeah there you go let's put a burger on it see how she does okay get ready to cook a burger here just put it on my little spatula right here just like so go open up and like i said the handle's not hot at all so you don't have to worry about it burning gonna slide it right there close her up let's see how she comes out give it a few minutes let me go check late and we'll just kind of like hang out Right now, it says it's out. Uh, the grill's almost 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty hot. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It smells good. I'll give it that much. I mean, okay. I think it retails for about, I believe it's like $300 I saw it on Amazon. But I think they're having a sale on it right now because it's kind of like camping season they're trying to sell them so it's between 200 and 250 so overall i mean if you got the room it's kind of big for me i'm gonna be honest with you but as far as the scamp trailer it's kind of big for my trailer because i have to carry it in my car and then once it gets greasy i don't like putting things in my car that are greasy it does have a drip pan that goes under it but we're not using the grease pan but anyway as far as you know if you have a big camper this thing will work great or if you want to cook out of your, your home or you know out in the park something like that it, it'd be a nice grill for that but as far as the little camper like i have it just it's way too big for me but i mean each its own i'm real funny about the amount of weight i carry so you know that's all i can really say is i'm kind of funny about the weight i carry so let's flip it over see how she's doing oh yeah Got a good fire going. Looking good, ain't it? I should have put tin foil on it, but I didn't. So, yeah, we'll just cook it and that'll be it. So, you know that thing's cooking good. Look at the smoke coming out of there. That's going to be one good hamburger. Little man's love it. I did stop the video and I put some tin foil on it. So, it wasn't making such a big mess. But, let's see how she's cooking. There you go. Look at that. Yep, that's going to be a good burger right there. See the flame, but really nice. I mean, it should be real easy to clean up. Just take a, a, a brass brush and scrape it clean, and there you go. What does the temperature gauge say? About, can't read it, but there you go. If y'all enjoyed this video, 
give me a thumbs up. I'll leave the links below in the description of the videos if you want to check it out on uh, Amazon or wherever you buy your stuff from. And keep on following me. See you in the next video. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.